let's just do a quick summary on uh, at least some of the reasons why work is important. So work provides that routine and that structure. So I know that in January when it's minus 40 and it's dark outside at 7 a.m., the last thing we want to do is get out of bed. We would just love to stay in bed. Uh, but overall, the routine and the structure uh, contributes towards our, our mental health, towards our sense of well-being. Uh, I hear a lot of times uh, when people take stress leave from work, they think that uh, they will feel better. But as soon as they're not at work, they are losing the routine and structure and, and other things that we're about to mention. And it's quite common for people to fall into, de into depression. Uh, they get rid of some of the stressors at the workplace, but now these other elements come in and it's not always helpful to take a stress leave. Uh, secondly, work provides social contact. So, you know, you will see your friends outside of work, but it's just touching base with people on a regular basis. Um, having that small talk, uh, just working alongside people. It just, uh, it's really good for us. Even though, of course, there is conflict because of it, uh, overall, it does contribute towards uh, our sense of well-being. Uh, productivity, learning, and growth. So when we are in jobs, we are uh, having to learn new things all the time. Organizations are changing and growing so fast right now. Uh, that there's always a need to learn and grow. And there's growth when you are dealing with conflict in the workplace as well. You're learning to be a better person. So my own personal opinion again right now, so you can take it or leave it, but uh, I believe that just like I believe organizations are growing or they're in a sense of decline, um, humans can be like that too. There are some people that are actively growing. They're actively becoming a better sense of themselves. Somebody that they're working on impressing themselves. Uh, they're learning from past mistakes. And there's others that aren't. They have more of that fixed mindset, so they're digging their heels in and defending who they are. Um, but I really believe that growing and learning and uh, it really does contribute in a wonderful way in our lives. Our sense of identity. So if you remember the diversity wheel, there uh, was so many elements of who we are. There's our, our age, our marital status, our parental status, our geographic location, our recreational hobbies, etc., etc. But if you remember the whole outside circle of the dimensions of diversity is all work related. So when you're working, uh, you are adding a whole layer of who you are at that time. And so it just enriches our lives to be working and also just to be putting our fingerprint on society in some way. You know, you could be working at a gas station and you're providing that service, but also brightening up people's day with your, your friendly greetings. Or you could be doing something, um, working with youth. You could be volunteering with youth, helping them with homework after school. All of these things add to our sense of identity. And of course, the one that sometimes people don't mention, but of course work provides us with that source of in income. Uh, it gives us a sense of freedom. So for people who have been on some kind of support, some kind of government support, be it EIA or EI or, or um, other forms of government support, there is this, this level of accountability that you have to have that can be a little bit jarring. You have somebody kind of looking over your shoulder. And once you have that work, you have that freedom and you can be applying for different jobs. You can be applying for promotions. You can be taking courses on the side so that your income can go up and up. So all of these things are really, really important. Work is so much more than just a paycheck.